One of the areas of a paradigm of interest is what we call fecal transfer studies. And you may have heard of some of these studies. They've been taking place in diabetes and obesity for a long time. You may have heard this. If you haven't heard or you're less familiar, if you take the feces from a fat rat and you give it to a skinny rat, all things create equal, the rat eats the same rat chow, the skinny rat becomes fat. If you take rats that are morbidly obese and you give them bariatric surgery, they lose weight. Then you take their feces and give it to a rat on the wait list, it loses weight too. So we already know this exists, that fecal transfer changes the phenotype. Well, hang on, we're in the brain business. What is the effect on the brain phenotype or the behavioral phenotype? Well, there's different types of mice out there. There's some anxious mice, which are the BLB mice, the, these bald mice. These are anxious mice. So at a dinner party, they're over in the corner. They don't socialize, OK? Then we got the Swiss mouse, and probably a good name, Swiss. You know, they're very kind of smooth. They work the room. These are very confident mice, OK? If you take the feces, OK, from a suave, working the room Swiss mouse, and you give it to a timid, anxious mouse, it becomes a gregarious mouse. Now, before, if some of you would describe yourselves as a bit neurotic, and you're thinking about asking your Zen friends for their poop, <laughs> just in fact, I want you to know this is experimental. Don't be doing this at home, OK? <laughs> All right, so these are, in fact, your nice Zen Swiss mouse, probably wearing a nice, expensive watch. You give them, in fact, some some feces from the anxious mouse, it becomes anxious. You've transferred the phenotype. You've taken a rat and you've transferred, you've just changed its phenotype by only transferring feces. The plot thickens. If, in fact, you take mice and you separate them from their mother, they become distressed. They have a syndrome phenotypically like depression. They're anhedonic, they're depressed, they're anxious, they're cognitively impaired. But hang on, there's a bit more devil in the detail. It turns out that if you take these mice and you wipe out their entire gastrointestinal bacterial flora, easy to do, just bombard them with antibiotics, okay? You wipe out their entire GI tract of bacteria. Then you separate them from their mother. They don't seem to have the anxious response. Who has the anxious response are the ones that actually have the bacterial flora. Once you take these germ-free mice and you put the bacteria back in their gut, they start having the response again. Okay, conclusion. A bit of a kind of, a, there's a different layers to that. I said if you take feces from a suave, smooth operating Swiss mouse, and give it to an anxious mouse, your anxious mouse becomes pretty suave. Then I said, is that if you separate mice from their mothers, they become very, very distressed. 